is a stench in this bar that smells like death. It's awful. And as I walk to the back, it gets worse and worse and worse. You smell it? I wouldn't put that in your mouth if I were you. We don't know if it's in the wall or in the air ducts. Oh! oh. The second I walk in, there's just this disgusting, heavy, wafting smell of either mold and must or cat piss. What's your name? I'm Chloe. What is the smell? It smells like cat piss in here. It's cat piss. The owner loves the cat in here at night. Sometimes he kills a bat. A bar that stinks from cat piss. That's my start on this bar. Why don't you make her a drink? Sweet tea sour. Yeah, I can do that. Is there something in that bottle? I told them about this already. She turned that upside down and there's something floating around in there. There's a cockroach in there. That's unacceptable. She was gonna serve that to me. Look at it, floating in there. How many other liquor bottles are like this? At least I've never two. Seen one like that. You have a mixing glass? Look at it. There's one of them. Look at that, guys. That's a roach. That was disgusting. I'm out of here. I don't want to touch anything else or see anything else. I'm repulsed. You can't have that much filth and that many bugs in a place unless you just don't care. How often do you see a roach? Every day. A few every day? Probably. Where do you see them? Do they walk across the bar? Yep. Yeah, we had them in our cash registers with our money. When people ask about headhunters, they're like, oh, that bar that smells real bad? That's us. And what does our owner say about this stuff? Nothing. I'd like to meet this guy. Where the hell is he? How are you? Steve, Steve John Taffer. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming. Pleasure. Let's walk over here and talk for a minute. Sure, let's go. My wife orders a drink. The bottle's filled with a cockroach and bugs. Wow. The other liquor bottles are filled with bugs. The staff told me that they see cockroaches every day here. In there for a day. cockroaches in bottles. Let's go ask them. Chloe? Yes. How often do you see cockroaches here? Uh, about every day. About every day. So your staff is pulling your liquor bottles. They're telling me there's roaches here every day. You don't see it? You don't know it? Chloe, why don't you tell me uh, about this? When why why are you telling you, him that, but not me? I've told you that we have a problem. You own which this is place. You're supposed to know these things. There are no bugs in the bottle. Do you know this is happening or not? Yes or no? Do you know it? Do I know what? That there's bugs all over your bar. There's bugs all over Austin. There's bugs all over America. This is a college town. They don't want clean. It's not the culture. Austin doesn't like that. Is it a sterile? Clean room environment? No, it's not. We're not in that business. You came down here to tell me I have roaches in my bar? I came here to With fix all... your bar, but oh, I can't I fix that. a bar when I'm pouring cockroaches out of glasses, man. I'm Come a... on. I'm impressed. With all the experience and knowledge you have in the world, you got all the way here to tell me I have roaches in my bar? I'm <laughs> astonished. Really? Steve can't admit to anything. I tell him there's bugs in his drink, he says there's no bugs in the drink. This guy is filled with excuses and holds himself unaccountable for everything. That's gonna change. I know day. when I see it. In... They are there. Either you knew it and you didn't give it. Are you gonna lower your voice and you talk like a it. man? No, because you're frustrating the hell out of me. I'm and when I talk to idiots, I get loud. I'm you a, live I'm amongst shocked. the mess of cockroaches. Shocked. shocked at your professionalism. You know what Crazy, a professional man. is? Yeah. A professional is you don't serve bugs to your customers. Maybe oh. you're the biggest bug. Let's show what happens when a moron defends failure. This is what happens. Oh my God. There is about 30 cockroaches in there. Look at that. Seeing that many cockroaches was disgusting. Look at this, guys. Those are bugs. Those are cockroaches. He had people standing in the crowd looking at him with utter disgust, and he was still sitting there smiling and laughing, thinking it was a joke and that it was funny. It's not a joke. This is the livelihood of a good 10 to 15 people. You need to get angry at this. You need to be embarrassed about this. Take Jeez. accountability. John Taffer flew off the handle about bugs, so we created a drink after him called the Bug Bomb. <laughs> I am going to get on the phone, and I am going to fumigate this building tonight. You didn't have the balls to do it. I'm going to. 
You didn't write the check, I'm gonna. I, your employees, Joe, and you, Jesse, are not walking back in this building until we can do so safely. And you, my friend, are an Looks mean again. Hey, guys. Only three days from now, guys, I have to open a new bar that you would be proud of, like the concept, and set us up to move forward. When there's bugs in my drink, I stop thinking about everything else. So I called in a professional yesterday. I want you to be as grossed out and angry at this as I am. Look at this, guys. This is during the exterminator sprays last night. Just watch it. Here's what he wrote that the conditions noted are a health hazard and a public danger. There was substantial fecal matter, egg casings, and mutilated roach carcasses. That was a load of them. No wonder I'm always sick. If I have cockroaches walking across our customers, you are all screwed. If you see one or two cockroaches at a bar, you can bet there are thousands more. When there's a roach infestation, they emit a strong musk, which draws more roaches, forming massive colonies like the ones at Headhunters, inside the bar, under the stage, and behind the bamboo wall. Cockroaches don't just seem filthy, they are filthy, and carry up to 30 different diseases, including salmonella and dysentery, which they can spread to glassware and countertops, leaving no visible signs of bacteria. With a roach-infested bar, even the glasses that seem clean are heavily contaminated. This infestation, according to the professionals, came from at least four and a half years of complete neglect. This is Austin. Every bar I go to has roaches. We have uh, staff that needs to do their job. They need to clean wells. It's in the job description, so now we know the source. I took it seriously. You blew it off. Did the best I could on our resources. It's not like I didn't do anything. More and more cleaning the bar since it's been open. This is your fault. This is your neglect. Now, you guys were exposed to 30 different types of bacteria. You brought feces home to your apartment. You slept in your bed with them. How dare you risk your employees, risk your customers. I am going to fix this. And if I have to run over you to do it, understand, Steve, I am going to do it. I'm going to get you a starting point that's clean, safe, and it starts right now. Go up. Can I get a pint of Guinness? See how everything calmed down now? Like, <laughs> now we're all scared of this bollocks. <laughs> I want to run. <laughs> that does that. I mean, that's... that's Packy, how's it going? Mr. Yeah, Tapper, how are you doing, John? How's it going? John, please. I'd like you to meet two dear friends of mine. Oh, jeez, really? Jerry? Jerry, oh, yeah. nice to meet you, yeah. Nice to meet you. Gavin? Nice you. Gavin, how's it going, John? Go. Talk about what your experience was here in the bar. That was flies in the drink. But the number one thing for me is the chicken. Overcooked, dry. There's something Irish about it. I said it as soon as I walked in. There's something Irish about this bar. It yeah. looks like it's an American opened an Irish bar. What bottles have fruit flies in them? Show them to me. Probably every one of them. You put them back there with the flies in them, didn't you? Yeah. So you serve the drink to a guest, and he puts it back down there and serves it to the next guest. He's pissing on your business, isn't he? Yeah. Pulls his frickin' pants down behind the bar. That's you. Jerry, I want you to go behind the bar, take every bottle with bugs in it, and put it on top of the bar. Let's line them all up. This fruit flies in the drinks. They're serving it that way, and they don't even care. I want to use tonight as an example of what is so wrong with this bar and every person in it. So how many got up there now? Nine so far. Nine so far, and he's just starting. Check that one out. Look at the bugs in this bottle. Holy oh, Jesus. Oh, my god. Oh. This is the future of your family. Do you understand that? Yeah, John, I do. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. That's gross. Pretty much every drink you order tonight has flies in it. So you already blew this money. I'm just burning it a second time, because you already did. How we doing with the oysters? I need it garnished. All right, well, you got everything right here. Can John come and help do this? John, 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 John. Can you ring in a little bit of for me, please? Like, I'm ready. One. 
that Achaga. Bring in a zombie and a Achaga. Bring it back. Dump it. Dump it. What's wrong with it? it? Tastes like nothing but juice. Oh, great. I'm making those table screens right now. Yeah, but you're not making them if they go in the garbage, Callie. Come on, you gotta make them right. Well, there's no point. Let's go. Come on. I can do this. Seven, six, and nine. Transactions. There we go. We're collecting money. Callie, you're smiling. I'm trying. <laughs> Guys, hustle, hustle, hustle. These tickets are gonna just keep firing. I need a runner. Here we go. I got two orders right here. Knock it out. Got Chuck em. the oysters. Get the other shucker, and you guys do it together. This is teamwork right now, guys. Make it look perfect if you want people coming back. What the f I got f rats running under my f feet right now. John, rats. I just had three of them go right under my f feet. Three rats. So they're under here now? Yes. Do you understand what corporate yes. responsibility yes. is? Yes. Do you understand yes. what it is to own a freaking business yes. and you're feeding people? Yes. Can't do this. Ugh. Oh my God. What do you say, Nick? Rats. In a tropical location like Florida, rats are a fact. They live in walls, they live in foundations. You have to use a professional exterminating program or they'll take over your bar. Guys, I can't honestly sell food when you're watching a rat run by, Logan. You're very right. Shut the equipment off. Tonight was not a success. We were almost caught off when the rat went between Chef and Logan and it got shut down. So how much are you losing a month now? $4,000 a month, easy. So you're feeling the pressure? I feel the pressure every day. I want to bring my experts in and they're going to help me turn this place around. Guys, my name is John Taffer. I have turned around over 800 bars. Is this a good friend of mine and one of the best mixologists in the world, Peter O'Connor? Peter is the master of whiskey for Diageo. So what I wanted to do now, Peter, is let's see what we got to work okay, with. Okay, no problem. How often do you clean the bar, guys? Uh, every night. I just want to show you this so you can see properly. Soda gun is clean, but how often do you clean this? Look at that. Look at this. How often do you clean that? What is that? That's sugar syrup. So there's flies in there, there's bacteria in there. That's an E. coli colony. And the soda gun is sitting in this. Like, that is just disgusting. You guys said you clean every day. I can't explain it. Laziness. Laziness. On it's laziness. That's all it is. Guys, come around here. I really want to show you this here. What is that on the glass? That's a roach. It? Oh, there's another one inside, John. Oh, that's disgusting. Look at this. Ah. Oh. Look at these roaches inside your beer cooler. Did you know that there were roaches here, Jameson? We found out a bunch of them were living under their printer machine back there. Let's go check the kitchen. Okay. Hey, Nick. John, I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to dump this on top here. We got bugs there. And not only that, this says seasoned flour breader. And I open that up, and I'm seeing that in there. OK, that's disgusting. You know, guys, I'm trying to stay calm here. But when I see this, Todd, cockroaches in your flour. If there's roaches in here, there's roaches in a whole kitchen. It could be anywhere. I am going to get on the phone, and I am going to fumigate this building tonight. When this place has no roaches, then Nick and I will come back and go to work. There are bugs. we are back here all night. I've had my ass chewed by professional ass chewers, and John Taffer can't break me. Good morning. I had an exterminator come in here. He found roughly 14 colonies of German cockroaches. They carry literally hundreds of disease yeah. because you're irresponsible. I want to talk to you for a moment about respect as a manager. Respect as a manager is something that's earned. It's earned by holding your employees accountable. You fight for standards when you make them perform better every day. That's why you can't be behind the bar all the time. You've got to be managing this. Right. I don't do this on my own. So I have two great experts that I want to bring in. See, so here is Jen Jay and Anthony Curtis. Hi, guys. So let's start with a little walkthrough. What do you see, Jen? Just talk to me here. The big thing that's just screaming to me, plastic cups, reminds me of a frat party, something like that. I see just disgusting bar rot, layers of dirt, 
spilled. I can't really tell exactly what it is. There's splatters. So that's disgusting. What's that? I think um, it's still alive. It's still alive. Give me the other cup. You can't be serious. Show that to them. So this should not be behind a bar, guys. This is just disgusting. It's alive, guys. It should not be happening. Obviously, if a customer sees this guy, it's a nightmare. Do you see them often? Bigger ones like that, yeah. Are you proud of that? No. But you walk by it every day, Lise, and you didn't do anything about it. That's half a dozen diseases sitting at the bottom of a plastic cup. Lisa's coming to the realization that she's not as good as she thinks she is. Is it together? Are you going to do cash? Yeah, we'll do cash, please. Thank yeah. you. See any smiles, any interaction here? Well, she looks like she's at a funeral, doesn't she? She looks miserable. Yeah, yeah. Is that funk in the soda gun? It sure is. No, that was bad. That was, that was bad. real bad. Oh, it's okay. Thanks. Thanks. When she opened the ice well to get ice, I could have sworn I saw just a, a, a blackness, and I hope it's not mold. Oh, man, if that's mold, then we can't let our, bar, our bartenders have the cocktail. When she was scooping ice to put into her well, yeah. that's where I saw it, so. I'm going oh, in, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 Robbie. Hi, John. John Taffer. Absolute pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet Thanks. you. Come back with me for a moment. Sure, sure. First of all, I don't want you guys to drink that. Come with me, Rob. <clears throat> you know, when I hear your story, and I hear how you love the community, mm-hmm. right, and how much this town means to you, and, and then I see things like filth that is unbelievable, that if you guys drink this, you will get sick. You know what this is? See those little chunks? Feces from cockroaches and fruit flies. So. Come with me, Rob. This is mold in this ice machine. This will get every single one of you sick. Now, you girls are bartenders. Would you work here knowing that? Absolutely not. So that's the filth just here. I mean, look at this freaking place. I mean, it's unbelievable. There's just junk everywhere. And I haven't even gone in a kitchen yet. So. This is a guy who loves the community, but serves you bacteria. This is a guy who cares about his employees, right? But lets you work in disgusting filth that is unbelievable. So do you care about this community? Or are you full of shit? Because somebody who cares doesn't do this. Now I gotta ask you the question, what stinks in this place? Because it isn't tobacco. A couple of days ago, I found a rat uh, we put down rat poison and ate the rat poison, and we're guessing it died. We have no idea where it's at. We have no idea where it's at. You smell it? Because I do. There is a stench in this bar that smells like death. It's awful. And as I walk to the back, it gets worse and worse and worse. You smell it? I wouldn't put that in your mouth if I were you. We don't know if it's in the wall or in the air ducts. Oh! did it take me to find it? A couple of minutes. How long have you been looking for it? About two or three days. And you didn't even move a freaking couch? You can smell it over here. That's your freaking future right there, man. I see it. And you're manager of this place? Get a rag and pick this thing up now. Gotcha. This one is killing us. Ah, the blood on the floor. You don't deserve to be in business. Shut this place down, Guys, please get out of here. Give them their money back now. I'm out of here, man. Jesse's attitude stinks. He's acting like a college kid who doesn't care. It's infuriating. Unbelievable, man. What a joke. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.